What's up, y'all? I'm Mr. Right Way here. And, you know, I really do love GameStop. And on the channel, I show you how to get great games. We go to midnight releases. But what I'm seeing right now, guys, mm, don't look good. And I try not to, like, be anti GameStop because I'm not. I love GameStop. But this right here, y'all, oh, man. It just, it's really kind of like this. It's difficult, y'all. It's, it's, just look at this real quick. We're going to look at this together right here. So it's saying GameStop makes a harsh decision amid declining sales. So let's look at this full. I'm going to put this full for you guys so you can look at it. Now, yeah, don't worry about the hot dog because, you know, I love hot dogs. But anyway, so GameStop, G M E has revealed that it recently laid off an unknown amount of employees from the company amid a sharp decrease in sales, according to the new SEC 10K filing. And they say right here, let's try to get this big for y'all to read this up. All right, anyway, he won't, but as part of our strategic plan to achieve profitability, we have recently undertaken the cost reduction measures and other initiatives to improve the efficiency of our operation, including initiatives to reduce headcount, <laughs> said GameStop in the filing. The company also reported that the filing has 8,000, 8,000 full-time salary hourly associates between 13,000 18,000 part-time hourly associates worldwide. This is a significant decrease from what is reported in the filings last year where it said it had 11,000 full-time salary and hourly associates between 1,400 and 27,000 part-time hourly associates worldwide. I mean 14,000 and 1,400. <laughs> the recent cost-cutting move from GameStop comes amid the company's struggle to offset declining sales. In the fourth quarter earnings, the report of 2023 GameStop revealed that it only earned $1.794 billion. I mean, I mean, that's all. Wait, what? Y'all mad because y'all made only $1.794 billion? Bro, give me some money. Give me that. Give me that money. That's crazy. All right. A decrease from the 2.2 billion it earned. GameStop got money, y'all. GameStop claimed that the SEC filing that ever since gaming consoles from companies such as Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft start allowing users to digitally download games. Right here, y'all. Look. That's what the whole deal is. Look at the guy here in GameStop. <laughs> well, a new PlayStation 5 on Black Friday where all these people right here were waiting. They say downloading of video games right here, right? Content to the current generation of video game systems continues to grow and take an increasing percentage of new video game sales. Say GameStop in the filing. If consumers pref preference for downloading video games, content in lieu of physical software continues to increase. Our business and financial performance may be adversely impacted. Sales of the video game console themselves has taken a recent hit in months. Then that is true. Sony said in its last earnings report, which released February 14th on Valentine's Day, that it struggled to sell its PlayStation 5 during the critical holiday season months. Several, I mean, it's holiday sorry. The critical holiday season months last year, sorry, y'all, only sold 8.2 million units. It also warned that for the PS5, there would be a gradual decline in unit sales for the next physical years onward. Yeah. Nintendo's gaming console and Nintendo Switch also faced a 7.8 year on year decrease in hardware sales during the quarter, according to this most recent report. Software sales for the Switch also declined by 4.7 cents on a year on year quarter. And this is by Patricia Battle. So, Thank you, Miss Patricia, for that article. Also, thanks for my boy Neo Ness for sending this in our group chat. I said I had to jump on this now because you know I absolutely love GameStop. Now let's go back and talk about. It. They said the PlayStation 5 wasn't selling right. I mean, yeah, if you own a PS5, especially Xbox One, 
a lot of people are not buying incense. It's so many in store now. Remember when we through uh, COVID, the pandemic, nobody could find it because all them dirty, greedy resellers were buying up all the PS5s, stocking them in their homes, and selling them for crazy like $1,500, $2,000. Now, today, that's not, you know, nobody's doing that. Also, PlayStation 5 has not really set in like next gen. Spider Man 2 was amazing, right? But it didn't look really next gen, right? I mean, we could have played it on a PS4 Pro. God of War, Ragnarok, wasn't really like next gen. This goes to a whole different sector, right? Because, in my opinion, the way games are now, nobody's really want to buy some. That's why I think Nintendo said we holding off until next year to like put out new games. You know why? Why is this going on? Let's go back to the GameStop stuff, right? I go to GameStop a lot, right? I love GameStop, like I told you. I make many videos in GameStop. The retro games they have in there right now is okay, but other places outside of Texas don't have really great stuff i hear it all the time in the comments you guys tell me all the time that your GameStop is it sucks um bad employees <laughs> really terrible employees but why these employees are terrible because they terribly train they have general managers or district managers who just give them all kind of hell and like stress to like put out numbers to put out this to sell you a game in former magazine to uh sell you this sell you that and people don't want it people want to go in the game stop and buy a game like this right here look we're gonna leave that unedited but i just bought uh princess peach so showtime when i bought this game right i was able to use uh some of my GameStop points so i got 15 dollars off of that that's great but guess what else they did and they do it every single time how about a membership i got one but we still gotta ask all right if you have a really if a good customer always come like me and y'all know me why you still gotta ask these people are afraid to lose their jobs because GameStop put this stupid this you know stuff on them say you gotta say this you gotta say this a, a laundry list of stuff they gotta do and then another thing right this is crazy another thing gamestop does is people are quitting people are just leaving stores <laughs> you see it on the internet right gamestop people are just leaving leaving the store a lot don't care because they've been treated bad if you make an environment where people want to work people will want to buy and then they blame me digital download let's talk about that downloading games yes physical games are amazing i'm a big physical game collector i go to games all the time get physical games but y'all you can't stop this digital this digital storm that's coming this new age of getting digital games i always look at my nephews right they got switches they got xbox he don't have a place my brother has a playstation 5 but the ease for people not to leave home, download the game, and they cool with it. Now, us old school gamers, you know, we know what's up, right? We want to have our physical copies because in case we get bored, we want to sell something, get it, and, and trade it in. You can't do that with digital. So it's a lot of stuff going on right now. This digital future is now affecting games supposedly expecting GameStop, right? But I think GameStop can survive if they change a lot of stuff. Like I said, get better employees, get better training, treat people nice. GameStop, I know you're watching this video because you watch a lot of my videos. And I know I don't try to be like negative with you guys, but you got to do a better job on stuff like this. You can't have employees leaving the store because you got dumb district managers and telling them this laundry list of stuff or not even caring about stuff but the bigger picture is digital the age of digital is coming can't stop it and so 
you gotta embrace it what do you feel about this at the at time y'all let me know down in the comments below let me know down in the comments below is this digital <laughs> see look this stuff got me all man and flustered <laughs> this thing about digital games like, oh i love it but i'm gonna embrace it what do you think down below let me know and always remember to do it in the right way okay stop get your stuff together